Welcome back. So uh, today I'm going to be doing this look here. It came out lovely, lovely. Um, it's very like shimmery, glowy, dewy, what have you. If you were coming to my channel for the first time, I'll just give you a little debriefing. I am doing a project currently. It's kind of like a no buy slash shop my stash project where I am using all of my makeup before I buy any new makeup in 2023. So each day I use a different piece of makeup in my collection and I keep doing it until I use every single piece of makeup. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing here right now. And I've, I think I'm on day like five. I'm on day five. Um, and it's been wonderful. It's been a really fun time and I'm excited to continue to do it. And yeah, um, thank you so much for stopping in and let's get into the lock. <laughs> okay, I gotta get puppy clip in the mix here. So I'm gonna prime my face with the Ember Lease Light Cream Concentrate. Uh, I love this. Uh, a lot of makeup artists swear by this and I do too. Um, I actually took this to Greece with me over this last summer when I went and very arid, very dry. I don't have dry skin, but I did find my face getting very, very arid while I was there. Um, just because of like sun exposure and just the nature of the climate. But this definitely saved my skin. Um, and it wears beautifully under makeup. It's such a beautiful primer. One thing I will say is the next time I buy it, I will be purchasing the fragrance free. It, it does smell like an old French woman. Next, I'm gonna be taking the Rose Ink skin serum thing. I take two pumps on the back of my hand and it's super liquidy so I'm always like Meh. I take a very dense foundation brush. This is the Morphe M439 and I'm pretty sure they still make this. I'm not sure. Um, and then I just activate the pigment and swipe it onto my face. Not necessarily like really going like this but I like press and kind of tug against so it's not as streaky because this can get streaky if you're not like you know paying attention so I kind of apply this foundation with my brush as if my brush was like a sponge if that makes sense trying to give this um complexion product like a redemption because it did not work out in my last or the last time I used it in um like a samples video that I did. But as you can see, very light coverage, very luminous, and it lays on top of the Emberlease cream. Very lovely. No pilling, no cottage cheese base. Meh. Next I'm gonna be going in with the Old Trusty. This is the Kosas Revealer Concealer, and I have this in the shade 3W. Oh, and the Rose Ink Skin Serum thing was uh, shade 3. I think, I don't know, I don't know if it's my shade. I feel like it kind of washes me out. Um, but this, this is like my perfect skin match. It's like the right amount of like olivey yellow, but all, but still remaining like light or like and leaning fair, light fair. Meh. Such a hard like skin tone to really match when you're really fair but you're still olive. I tend to make things for olive skin tones in the more like medium shade range which is like totally fine but you know there are people that are strangely fair in the winter time but still have that olive undertone so I always find that going more towards a warm if the neutral is too pink tends to work for me. And um, yeah, this is a really good match. 3.2 Olive um, is also a good match, but it can lean a little too green the paler I get, so. Okay, next I'm going to be taking the Westman Atelier Contour Stick, and this is in the shade Biscuit. And I've been kind of doing my contour a little different lately. I've been taking it up and then down, kind of like the way a skeleton goes, like the shadow of a skeleton. I've just been kind of lightly swiping and then going down, like make, almost making like an L. And then blending it up. I'm taking one of my favorite brushes for cream products. This is the Pro Foundation 
Sephora, it's a Sephora brand, it's a Pro Foundation 47 brush, and I find that this is so good when it comes to like cream bronzers and cream blushes. Um, it just really, really pats, like it's just so soft, like a little kitten just pitter pattering up across your face. I'm swiping up, that's super important. And then once it starts to blend out, you can turn it around and kind of pat it out. See? And you see how that kind of like snatches my face a little bit more? But in like a natural way. Yeah. Okay, blush. Um, I'm taking the Nude Sticks. Uh, this is the matte formula. This is one of my favorite blushes. And this is in the nude. It's a very neutral, pinky... Yeah, neutral pink with like a little bit of brown and I'm just taking that onto the same brush here and patting it up higher up onto the cheekbone, draping that down and then putting the excess onto the apples. All right, this next product is the highlight. This is the Refi liquid highlighter and I believe it's called Topaz. It only comes in one shade and at first glance, since it is, I'll put it on the back of my hand here, it is very dark. And when I first got it, I was like, ooh, I don't know. But it shears out beautifully. So I'm just gonna take that onto the back of my brush. One of my favorite ways to use this is to mix it in with like a liquid or cream blush and kind of just glide it across the face. But it's just so glass-like, so beautiful. And it shears out, so it's, pretty universal, I would say. I mean, as universal as it could get, I feel like if you're incredibly pale, this might have like kind of a champagne-y, bronze-ish color tint on you, but if you mix it in with your blush, it'll work for you. Um, so that's a little hack that I learned not that long ago. And just look how, and this is, it remains tacky. It does sink into the skin a little bit, but um, it's a very lovely product, but if you're not into like that tacky glass-like kind of look, um, you might not like this, but I don't mind a tacky cheek. Yeah, like look at that. Ooh, I bet I got a bunch of hair. Every time I like edit and I'm wearing like kind of a more damp, <laughs> damp, every time I edit and I'm wearing a little bit more of like a tacky highlight, I always like find like hair like stuck and it's just not the best advertising anyways yeah that's super lovely super healthy super juicy all right now moving on to eyes i'm just like flying through this today i got the tom ford golden peach this is their cream and powder duo um and sadly rumor has it because they went on sale and i was like that can only mean one thing, but it was confirmed that these are being discontinued. For why, for why? These are such a beloved product by so many people. And I just don't understand why they would choose to get rid of this. Like, it's just so easy, so lovely. Um, luckily, when Samantha Ravindahl came out with her makeup line a couple years ago, she did kind of um, her version of these. Um, she didn't make a color like this color. She didn't dupe this color, but she did do the naked bronze color, which is the like deep shiny bronze with like the golden shimmer. Um, but this one is my favorite because I find it to look a little more glass-like. So, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is don't fret if you never bought these because there are some alternatives available now that didn't exist um, just a couple of years ago. But at the same time, I've never tried them, so I can't attest to how good they are. But um, yeah, this is one of my favorite eye products and it's so like wet looking and effortless. Whoops, brought that down too far. It's so wet looking and effortless and I just, I just, I'll, I'll never understand why brand, brands do that, where they get rid of something that like 
literally everybody loves and or wants. And it's just such a lovely, lovely product. Like, look at that. That shimmer top coat is just the stuff of dreams, my guy. And I like really cake the shimmer on with this because it's so like elegant and pretty that I feel like it's almost impossible to overdo. And it really sets that cream base without losing like any sort of like luminosity. I'll have to clean this up right here. Tom Ford, why? Why? Why would you do this to me? To us? I thought we had something. All right, finishing off the eyes, I'm taking the Victoria Beckham Future Lash Mascara, aka my favorite mascara in the whole wide world. Beautiful, lovely tubing formula, expensive. You know, the packaging is super luxe, it's glass. It just, it's just such a good mascara, and I'm so happy that I tried it last year. Um... Yeah, but I'm not going to bore you with like me ranting and raving about this mascara because I feel like I do it quite often. But the eyes are done, I'm going to move on to the lips and I am taking the NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. And just lightly outlining my lips just a little bit. Oops, I just got eyeshadow all over my lip. Oops. It's always important to remember to wipe off the eyeshadow finger <laughs> before you touch your face. Uh, I do it too much. On to the final step of the lips. This is the Rowan Liquid Lip Balm Oil. What is it? Liquid Lip Balm. Yes, and this is in the shade Lola. This was a favorite of mine last year. And, uh... It just glides on, it fills in all the cracks. Slightly pepperminty, but not in an obnoxious way. And it's just like a super easy, everyday color that you can wear with a variety of looks. And it has, it, it, it just lasts an incredibly long time. Like it's so surprising how long it lasts. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's so simple. It's so simple. It's a beautiful, glowy, nude look. Yeah. Skin's looking like a glistening peach after a rainstorm. A beautiful spring dew. What do they say? I really take puppy clip out. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, that is the look. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching me do my face of makeup for the day. Um, this one was probably pretty fast, but uh, yeah, I just was kind of going through the motions and it's an easy look to do. It's super, super glitzy and pretty dewy, but like, you're not too done up, you know what I mean? Um, I'm so sad about that Tom Ford eyeshadow. Like, it's literally one of my favorite eye products. But, you know, it just happens. It's not the end of the world. There's always going to be really good makeup released later. And, um, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. And see you in the next one. Bye!